After installing Windows 10 on a computer, there's a general checklist of settings and registry edits I go through to improve the overall experience. Whether you purchased a new PC or you're installing Windows 10 over an older operating system, I will share with you the settings I change immediately, along with other recommendations. Let's get started. Let's dive right in and first go through the settings available in the Settings app. In the lower left, click on Start and select the Settings icon. The first couple of settings I change are located in System. There have been times when launching Windows for the first time that the scaling has been set to 150% or larger. To fix that, make sure that Display is selected here in the left. Over here in the right, scroll down to Scale and Layout. Click the drop-down arrow. Underneath, change the size of text, apps, and other items. If you find it set to anything higher than 100%, switch it to 100. This lets you fit more on your screen. Increase it, if needed, to the scaling that looks best for you. And while you're here, check that the correct display resolution is selected for your monitor. For this next one, select Storage in the left pane. Storage Sense is a useful feature that will automatically free up space on your drive. Toggle the switch to turn it on. Click on Configure Storage Sense or Run It Now. I prefer to have Storage Sense run every week. Put a check mark next to Delete Temporary Files That My Apps Aren't Using. For deleting files in the Recycle Bin and Downloads folder, I have each of those set to 14 days. To free up space immediately, Scroll down the page and select Clean Now. There is no need to select the box next to Delete Previous Versions of Windows unless you're really desperate for space. That's it for the system settings. From the Settings Home, let's go into Personalization. While the new light theme in Windows 10 is nice, I still prefer their dark theme. In the left, click on Colors. Below Choose Your Color, your choices are Light, Dark, and Custom. If you select Custom, you have the choice to split up the Light or Dark theme for the Windows Mode and App Mode. I prefer both of those modes to be dark, so I'll choose that and choose your color. I find the dark theme to be easier on the eyes. Below Choose Your Accent Color, I check the box next to Automatically Pick an Accent Color from my Background or you can leave the box unchecked and choose the color listed below. If you don't want the Microsoft Apps to be the default apps on your computer, go into Apps here on the Settings home screen. In the left, click on Default Apps. Now just choose a new default app in each category. For Music Player, I'll go with VLC. And for Web Browser, the legendary Internet Explorer. Just kidding on that one. I'll go with Vivaldi. If you're not seeing one of your favorite programs listed, make sure you've got it installed. Here in the left pane, let's now go down to Startup. You will find that many programs will add themselves to the startup list even though they're not needed when your computer boots up. Disabling some of these might improve your startup time. So go through your list of the startup apps you know you don't need and turn them off. Let's now go check out the sign-in options by going to Accounts. In the left, make sure that Sign-in Options is selected. Scroll down to Privacy. If you've ever been in a situation where you've had to restart your computer to clear out the memory because your programs are using too many system resources, you will want to turn off the setting that says use my sign-in info to automatically finish setting up my device and reopen my apps after an update or restart. When you restart your computer, you're better off reopening only those programs that you need than having Windows opening all those programs you had active before you restarted. Windows 10 is Microsoft's most invasive operating system ever. They're collecting a ton of data regarding your usage habits. To reduce the information they collect, go to Privacy. You have four privacy options that you can change. My recommendation is to turn them all off. You don't need any of these turned on to use Windows 10. 
A major complaint of Windows 10 is that it will automatically restart to install updates. For this one, you will need to configure the Active Hours feature. Go to Update and Security. With Windows Update selected in the left, click on Change Active Hours. If you want Windows to automatically adjust the active hours based on your usage, toggle the switch on. I prefer to leave this off and set my own active hours by selecting Change. Set a start and end time when you're typically using your computer. I'll go with 5 a.m. for a start time and 6 p.m. for an end time. Click Save when you're done. Now Windows won't automatically restart during your active hours. Staying in the Update and Security settings, in the left pane, select Delivery Optimization. This Windows 10 feature will download updates faster by allowing downloads from your local network. And there's an option to also allow downloads from other internet-connected PCs. Turning this feature on also allows for the uploading of updates from your computer as well. I keep this feature turned off. Personally, I feel more comfortable downloading updates directly from the source and don't want my computers used as part of a peer-to-peer -peer network. Along the left, let's go to Find My Device. If you're using a laptop, having this feature turned on might help you out if your device is ever lost or stolen. Click on Change, then select the toggle to turn it on. Microsoft released a new feature with Windows 10 version 1903 called Enhanced Search. To find it from the Settings Home, go to Search. Then click on Searching Windows. In the Find My File section, selecting Enhanced allows Windows to search your entire system for almost any file or folder using the Windows Search feature. If you have folders that you don't want indexed, Select the plus, next to add an excluded folder, and add that specific folder to the excluded list. When you're browsing the files on your computer, Windows 10 by default hides most file extensions like .mp4, .exe, .jpg, and others that appear at the end of their file names. To make those visible, go to the search box and type File Explorer. Select File Explorer Options. Go to the View tab and uncheck the box next to Hide Extensions for Known File Types. The extensions will now be visible at the end of the file names. If you're like me and you don't like anything hidden, uncheck the boxes for Hide Empty Drives, Hide Folder Merge Conflicts, and Hide Protected Operating System Files. You'll get this warning that pops up. If you're okay with it and understand it, click on Yes. When you're done with this window, Click OK to exit, and your changes will be saved. There are many types of problems you could encounter running Windows 10 that could make it unusable. It could be a defective driver or the latest software you installed. Whatever the reason, you will want system protection turned on. Type Restore Point into the search box. Select Create a Restore Point. In the System Protection tab, click on your system drive. It will say System next to the drive letter. Click on Configure. If System Protection is disabled, turn it on. Under Disk Space Usage, set the max usage leaving 2 to 3%, or at least 5 gigabytes for restore points. I'll set mine to 3. Click OK when you're done. You will want to create a restore point immediately. Click on Create. Give your restore point a name and click Create again. I'll cancel since I've already created an initial restore point. Back on the System Protection tab, click on System Restore to revert your system back to one of your previous restore points. For the next two, we'll be using the Registry Editor. In the search box, type Registry and select Registry Editor. Prior to changing or creating anything new in the registry, create a restore point which I showed you earlier. When shutting down Windows, I find it irritating when I get the message to close out all of the open programs and I'm given the shutdown anyway button. There's an easy way to avoid the NAG screens. Navigate to HKEY CURRENT USER, 
Control Panel, Desktop, and left click on Desktop. We will now create three strings. Right click in the main window, New, and select String Value. Give it a name, Auto End Tasks. Hit Enter, right click on the new string, select Modify, and give it a value of one. Then click OK. I'll do the next two strings quicker. Right click, New, String Value, and call this one wait to kill app timeout right click modify and set it to 2000 and for the final string right click new string value give it the name hung app timeout and we'll also give this one a value of 2000 now with these three strings, Windows will force close your programs without any nag screens. For this next one, we're going to disable the lock screen that appears before the login screen. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, Software, scroll down, Policies, Microsoft, and then go down to Windows. First we'll need to create a registry key, right click, New, and then key. You'll see it here on the left. Give it the name personalization. Then hit enter. With it selected, right click in the main window, new D word 32 bit value. Name this one no lock screen. Then hit enter. Right click on it, modify, and set the value to 1. And click on OK. That's all there is to it to immediately get to your login screen. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up. What settings do you change immediately after installing Windows 10? Let me know about them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the latest Windows 10 tips and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.